this last Friday, all of a sudden we got 3.24.1, which is minor adjustments, tweaks and improvements to the cargo patch, the 3.24. And we also got a new vehicle, the Argo ATLS or Atlas. This thing is not directly a vehicle. It's an exosuit. It's an exoskeleton to help you lift heavy objects. We do have few other tools at our disposal, but considering this one is a vehicle, it takes up probably the least amount of space out of all the possible vehicles to manage cargo, lift cargo, move boxes. But while being the slowest, it has a very unique um, tractor beam, very unique management of containers. It can lift up containers from rather far distances away and you can place them equally at far distances. Once you pick up an item, it will pull it basically right in front of your view. And if you place it, you just aim it and you can use R to position it and scroll as well as we do with the regular multi-tool. Only difference being, it does not get rotated while it's in our hand, but when it's being positioned, it gets rotated into the position you want to put it in. So even though it is slow, positioning it in the right location, you can pick up items from far away, just turn around and place them rather easily. As far as most of these multi-tools go, this is probably the best lifting and positioning item or tool which we have at our disposal at the moment. I didn't think they would make it this comfortable, nor was I expecting anything similar, but I was really surprised how efficient this thing can be. If we take a look at another vehicle, ground vehicle, which was used for containers, the Drake Mule, sadly that one is not as useful anymore. It used to be able to carry one unit containers, now it doesn't really have much to boast. And I think this vehicle could be a competitor if they would add a tractor beam to the mule. This would create an interesting scenario where we would have all different sorts of tools available to us. The Argo SRV tractor, the mule, the exosuit, all of these having different strengths. Different use values depending on the situation, of course. Now, as for the exosuit itself, it is indestructible. Its main use is the multi-tool, it doesn't do any direct damage, and yes, as a player inside that suit, you can very easily die since there is nothing covering your front or even the sides. This is the first suit of its type. Of course, it's civilian or transport grade, but there is a lot of potential for the future to have more militaristic suits and possibly them to actually be destructible. I believe the idea for this suit was mentioned first two to three years ago. And this Argo ATLS suit, the transport suit, is an ideal stepping stone into getting more alternative variants or more militaristic suits into the game. Usually when things like this come out, it takes roughly six months to a year to another variant arrive. And I think it's pretty much the same case here. Although I do think they need to make some additional adjustments like make it destructible, uh, perhaps add it fuel and the military variants possibly could have custom weapons or maybe we could just use size ones which we find. There's a lot of potential and even this cargo variant of this suit actually surprised me with its usefulness. I highly suggest trying it out if you can. Perhaps it can be a fun tool to use in other ways. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe and thanks for watching.